What is like learning TCM in China? TCM is very tough because it has a lot of technical terms. The most interesting was like a acupuncture class, doing a class. We are trying to see how we can use traditional Chinese herb molecules to cure uh, cancer disease. Why are more people choosing TCM? In Western medicine, it feels like often we look at just the symptoms, but traditional Chinese medicine looks at the roots and the symptoms. I think people are realizing there's benefit to TCM because of its whole integrated approach. Traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM, is an extensive set of medical practices that date back more than 2,000 years in China. In recent years, learning TCM has become more common among young people in other countries. To learn why, I spoke to some students at Shanghai University of Traditional Chinese Medicine, one of the earliest higher learning institutions for TCM. <laughs> Place hands over the body and roll the fist across the back. Twin Eye is one of the most popular courses for TCM majors. It's a time for stress relief and relaxation as students take turns practicing Twina on their classmates. Aaron Juice is a master student from the United States. He fell in love with Chinese martial arts at the age of 12, which later piqued his interest in traditional Chinese medicine. In 2013, Aaron moved to Shanghai, and three years later, he enrolled in TCM courses at the university. I liked kind of the holistic aspect of it, like you try to treat them as a whole and treat the patient rather than the disease. And it includes things like herbal medicine, acupuncture, uh, exercise therapy, or like qigong or kung fu. And I think in our modern day, it's really needed. After obtaining his bachelor's degree in traditional Chinese medicine, Aaron is now delving deep into the art of TCM translation, especially terms related to traditional Chinese exercises like Tai Chi and Ba Duan Qi. Qigong, these are all Gong Fa, and they all share kind of certain aspects. And their philosophy is tied deeply with Chinese medicine. So a lot of Westerners like myself, and some of my friends, they came to Chinese medicine through martial arts or Qigong. So I think this is a good avenue to introduce Chinese culture and specifically Chinese medicine to the outside world. Moldovan Mihail Chorkim is in his fourth year at a school learning traditional Chinese medicine. His connection with TCM began at an early age. When he got sick, his family would seek the help of a local TCM practitioner, and this led him to pursue his TCM studies in China. I already am able to even to treat some patients by myself because the teacher really put me he put in me a lot of force, and he, yep, I already took a, a good courses from them how to practice Chinese medicine and how to do it. The scientific basis of TCM techniques has become better understood in recent years. A good example is acupuncture, which has been increasingly embraced in Western medicine as a potential treatment for inflammation. In a study published in Nature in 2021, a team of researchers led by neuroscientists at Harvard Medical School identified a subset of neurons that must be present for acupuncture to trigger an anti-inflammatory response via a signaling pathway. The Chinese medicine is super complex science with a different way of thinking, a different way of analyzing any disease. Western medicine should learn a lot of from the Chinese medicine and vice versa. Chinese medicine also need to take the best part of the Western medicine. Both medicine need to be combined to receive to achieve the one of the the best results. More people from abroad have been coming to China to learn TCM in recent years. At Shanghai University of Traditional Chinese Medicine alone, there are more than 2,600 foreign students from 70 countries and regions enrolled. And nationwide, there are over 13,000 overseas students studying TCM, the most among all natural science subjects. Like Thailand, Malaysia, China, Japan, 
、德国这些国家是我们主要的生源。像泰国、马来西亚这些国家，他们的政府已经对中医已经立法了，也就是说，我们学校的毕业生回去以后可以直接的行医。那么，当然也有一小部分会在中国，在上海发展。他们获得了中国的执医资格以后，他们就会呃在我们的民办医院或者是国际医院还有私人诊所当中行医。Learning TCM is a lengthy process. It usually takes five years to obtain a bachelor's degree. They are not only required to take TCM specialties like acupuncture and herbal medicine, but also learn the basics of Western medicine. Because you kind of see how you address maybe the same problem, like a patient has. Hypertension, high blood pressure. How you would deal with that in Western medicine, and how you deal with that in Chinese medicine. And out through this side, so Xi 可能能够看到一个非常清晰的局部，那么中医可以看到一个模糊的整体。但是这两者并不相互矛盾，它其实可以共存，可以互补。Most importantly, students can get the chance to work as a resident doctor at local TCM hospitals for at least one year, which helps them to improve their skills. 我这边这就可以有一个我跟着的一个医生，他叫段俊英，他是上海是很有名的那种美容的那种针灸美容的那种项目的一个医生，所以我，我因为我跟着他，他常常会给我介绍那些做减肥的、治疗那些脂肪肝的、做那种提升的那种针灸的项目。我要其实，呃，当一个代表中医的。在俄罗斯的一个人，越来越多人会知道是针灸是什么，对那是什么。那学生到我们这里来呢，他主要是来大量的接触我们的中国病人，无论从门诊还是病房，了解在和我们医患沟通的当中的一个文化差异，沟通表达上的一个差异，以及用中医的术语来采取我们中医望闻视诊的中医的一些。内容，这个对他们是一个难题。那学生在这里了解的就是我们如何中中参西。Although the years of study are long and demanding, the employment prospects for TCM students are promising. Some stay in China, but others return to their hometown to practice TCM. If after I graduate, I have the opportunity to practice at least for one or two years, it's going to be very important for me. And so, if I go back home, I'll have enough experience to practice and teach. I plan to take the licensing test here in China, which will be very tough. My ideal plan is to go back home and open a clinic, so to introduce traditional Chinese medicine to people back home, to use it integratively with Western medicine.